What's up everybody, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little unorthodox, man. This is something I really love doing with my community. They're always suggesting new build ideas and crazy new things that they're um, doing, which is a big reason, big shout out to Demon Puppets, a main member of my community channel and Discord, big mod there, uh, for kind of doing a variation on the God set with Bolas. So Bolas inherently hasn't really been something that people kind of tinker with, especially since Hungering Arrow innately is better in some senses because the overall damage is just higher, right? So, but we've been testing with Bolas and it's actually really, really satisfying to play, really fun. And visually, I think it's very, very cool. And I think the damage just sticks, especially in Greater Rift speeds. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go over everything that you need for the build and just kind of how to play it. Uh, I do want to say a big note here that the build is only changing two items, okay, from the uh, Hungering Arrow build. So instead of running Dawn as well as um, for like Fortress Ballista example in our weapons, the only thing that we're changing is the bow and the quiver, okay? And, uh, and then we're changing one cube item, but we're going to go over everything that you need. So of course, you're going to need six pieces of the God set. We know that you're going to gain four seconds of momentum when attacking with a primary skill, which is going to be Bolas. And then we're going to be able to get those momentum stacks and then strafe giving us the damage reduction and increased movement speed and then our primaries deal 25 or 27 and a half thousand percent increased damage and then of course we did pair this with guardians guardians is just a really really strong set gaining 100 percent of your base dex and vitality attributes on equipped items this is very 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 strong for speeds um now we swapped out our depth diggers we have these wearing these with 80% and 83% increased primary skill damage. I know this is really, really low, but obviously if you can get a better one, it is what it is. Um, then we have scores for double damage. We have focus and restraint, which is inherently the best rings that you can have on the God set build for even more damage. Uh, and then we have the two main pieces of the set here in our weapon. So we have uh i'm thinking i'm a butcher this name guys so don't don't kill me down in the comments but amelie's amelie's duffel god i'm gonna get butchered for this but uh the reason that we rock this is bowl is now explode instantly instead of the two second delay dealing increased damage we got a really good roll on this and then of course the main weapon that we have is the the leone bow of hashir uh, where bolas have a 100% chance on explosion to pull in a bunch of enemies up to 24 yards and deal increased damage. So both of these are very good, but collectively they're still not as strong as doing the Night Series Satchel with a 600% increased damage. Even at a maximum, these are only 325% damage. So we sacrificed a little there, but I think the build is just very, very strong anyways. So our, our legendary gems aren't going to change. We're rocking Bane of the Trap for more damage, Simplicity Strength for more damage, uh, as well as Taegook for even more damage in armor, okay? Into our cube, we're rocking Dawn here. You do have a lot of options here in the cube. You could, if you don't want to run Dawn for permanent uptime on Vengeance, you do have options here. You have Envious Blade for 100% crit. You could do Echoing Fury for more move speed and attack speed. You could do Fortress Ballista for even more shield if you wanted to, but in speeds, you should be fine. Um, and that's pretty much it. You could run Ingem if you really want to get this stuff up, but Dawn is probably the best option for that. Next, we have Hunter's Wrath here as your primary attack speed for 30% faster, doing 200% increase more damage. Now, the real reason here, even with Guardians, we could swap out Helmet and put Hunter's Wrath in or put the um, Dev Diggers in here and just do our normal God set here. The main reason that I always do Hunter's Wrath is kind of like a pro tip is the damage increase from Hunter's Wrath is higher than the damage increase that's gonna come from Dev Diggers. So putting this in the cube is gonna give us the maximum amount of damage. It's just better, okay, than putting Dev Diggers in here because the damage increase, it's harder to get a max 200 than it is a max 100. And even though the little bit lesser damage is easier to deal with. And then of course, Ring of Royal Grandeur to pair Guardians with our Gears of Dreadlands set. Into the skills and passives, guys. The only thing that we changed was our primary attack which is going to be bolus freezing strike now i have tested this with all three runes the runes that i did test with this is freezing strike imminent doom and volatile explosives for even more radius pull the the two lightning ones really don't do a whole lot but freezing strike overall is just better okay we got freezing strike which shoots three bolas they get the chance to be frozen they pull in and we do a lot of damage uh, then of course strafe drifting shadow for move speed 
Uh, smokescreen displacement for even more move speed. Preparation focus mind to gain discipline back. Um, companion wolf companion for even more damage. And then, of course, dark heart vengeance for damage reduction and increased damage. Into our passives, guys, we have ambush for 40% additional damage to high health enemies. Thrill of the Hunt paired with Cole of the Week is going to help give us the 20% increased damage in the slow. And of course, tactical advantage. Every time we hit our displacement, we're going to move super, super fast. So that is the build. The build is going to play the same exact way as a uh, God set with Hungering Arrow. So we're going to go in. We're going to do a 100. I was going to do 90s. The 90s we've been averaging is about 110. Uh, but we're doing a, a minute and a half on hundreds, but I think hundreds, we're just going to showcase it for this here. So let's go in and knock this out. Y'all ready? Let's go. Oh, sweet. Perfect for the video. We got a really crappy map. We got a really crappy map. And that's okay. We're still going to rock it in the face. So visually, the build is just very, very satisfying to me. It's really, really great. The pull and stuff is just super, super cool. Sweet, I'm hitting dead ends like a pro. And we're just gonna move through this. I really hate this map, but that's okay. We're, we're gonna do our best here. It shoots everything, it's so cool. Visually, I think it's just, just so much better, guys. And it's really fun, it's a really, really fun build. And it's different, you know what I mean? It's different than your traditional just hungering arrow. Just super, super different. I really enjoy it. Nice, let's go. And we're doing 100s here, which is just... You see that it just absolutely slaps. It's really good for AoE damage. I do have to stress that on the... Uh, sweet, that should have been the way out, but that's okay. Diablo hates me. Here we go, way out. There we go, a little bit better map. I do want to stress that area damage is very important on this build. So make sure you have a good amount of area damage on here. Ooh, God, we're just wrecking. Give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. Not bad for some bad maps, huh? And dead. Nice. Really, really strong. Still super fast, just like any god set would be. But it is something that's a little unorthodox and different if you want to play something just, just else. If you're kind of getting bored of, you know, hungering arrow and just all that because it's a pretty standard setup. Playing bolas is pretty strong. Super, super good. I mean, we crushed 100 in what, minute 20? Minute 24, super, super fast. I bet we could do a 110 in a sub two minutes. So the build is very, very cool. It's different. I'm actually probably going to use this a lot just for the remainder of the season just to kind of farm with, which is really cool. Plus, the bow is pretty sick looking. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a, a big thumbs up. That really does help. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Are you doing some un unorthodox things? Stuff that's just different. Let me know down in the comments. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.